people are saying that he's just like a Japanese Leonardo DiCaprio and that's why a lot of Japanese female anime fans are upset at him but I was really happy to hear the news about him and I'll tell you the surprising reason why. So on the 14th, the legendary voice actor Koichi Yamadera announced that he got married to a former pop idol Robin Shoko Okada. Yamadera or Yamachan, as known by his fan, has a job that if you like anime, at some point you might have thought of working as a voice actor and do what he is doing. <laughs> Yeah, that's some talent. I don't think I can do that. Robin and Yamachan has been working on the same radio show from 2015 until March of last year. And Yamachan was quoted saying, We began dating after realizing the importance of her existence after graduating from the radio program that we co starred in. We grew up in different generations and environments but we decided to support each other and walk together in this life. I am grateful that she made the decision to get married given my age. In case you haven't noticed, the reason why he's saying all that is Yamachan is 59 and Robin is currently 28. So there's a 31 years of an age difference. So just to give you some perspective, 31 years old is an age where you kind of start to hate yourself because you feel like you could have done a lot more and you're kind of stuck with all those loans. Anyways, this is Yamachan's third marriage and because he keeps marrying girls at around the same age each time, the age difference between him and his partner keeps increasing. In general, I heard that among Japanese marriage counseling service, there is a saying that for an older man to marry a younger woman, for one year of age difference, a guy needs to earn or have a value of a million yen or $9,000 per year. So if a guy wants to marry a girl 10 years younger than him, he needs to be earning $90,000 per year or have an equal amount of value. Yamachan is estimated to earn $181,000 per year, so he has that covered. I would marry Yamachan for that amount of money, man. A lot of people were grossed out by the news saying things like, Oh my god, this is so gross! Marrying a young girl three times and divorcing twice when the wife turns 40? Although there are people saying that Yamachan is gross or they are grossed out by him, DiCaprio only dates girls aged 25 years old or younger. I think what disgusts me is that he goes after women nearing her 30s so the age that they want to get married, use that against them, and then ditch them when they turn old and repeat the process again. So just to let you know, with a lot of these tweets, I'm summarizing them, but the last tweet actually said, the libido and the distorted humanity of a sinister geezer approaching his 60s is what is gross. And I was like, damn girl, she really goes for it. And the party doesn't stop here. People are digging up old tweets and found Robin and Yamachan taking flirtatious pictures of each other, saying things like, you can use these pics to say that you're on a date. Um, it's a little bit cringy, but they're in love, eh? They look like they're really cozy. But the problem was, these pics were taken in 2017 when Yamachan was still married to his then wife, Rie Tanaka, who is also a famous voice actress. So people are wondering if Yamachan started to flirt with Robin while he was still married to Rie. As an outsider, I have no idea what happened, but on the day that the marriage was announced, Rie posted on Twitter saying, I knew it. It's so funny. It makes me laugh. This is my pouting face. Good night kisses. And of course, there are people defending the pair saying, it's not like they committed a crime. I wish them the very best. I'm just reporting what is being said because this channel is called What the Japanese Are Talking About This Week and not which person does Dean think is an adulterer this week. <laughs> I can understand people being shocked about the age difference, but Robin is 28. She's old enough to make her own decision and old enough so Chrissy Teigen won't be sending any death threats to her. Some might think that they are marrying each other for their own reasons, 
but they both seem to be more introverted than an extrovert. Like the impression I get is that they both work in showbiz, but they probably need their own space and their alone time. So in that sense, I do think that they have that in common. By the way, changing the topic slightly. So I actually like Robin. Um, here are the pics. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm showing this to you guys. But um, I've actually seen her live twice. This Supreme knockoff shirt is from her group. These are the pics. Oh my god, I am making a heart with her. It's so embarrassing. But anyway, I think she's extremely talented. She really gets the audience excited. But she was extremely unlucky. So Robin joined this idol production company called Hello Project when she was just 11 and at first she was appearing on plays and musicals and it seemed like she was destined for success, like the future was hers. But then the head of the company, uh, Tsunku, decided to create another company, I have no idea why, and he had Robin join the new company's flagship idol group called The Possible later renamed Chao Bella Cinquetti, which means five hot checks. And oh man, I love the girls. They are really, really talented, but man, they were treated like a toy thing of the producer. So when they first started, all the girls had the same haircut and they were trying to have that 80s Japanese idol look. But when that didn't work out, they were then dressed up like, you know, Japanese bar girls, you know, girls working at nights. Then they also tried being an old girl air band. So girls go onto the stage and pretended that they could play the guitar or, you know, playing the drums. Why, why would you think that anyone would want to watch girls pretending to play the guitar? Which male audience was thinking that, hmm, I want to see girls pretending to play the drum on the stage. It's like... I have no idea. And then when the producer had his child, they were made to sing a song about how great the family is. <laughs> and then it doesn't end here yet, right? When the producer got really into harvesting rice, guess what kind of songs they were singing? So these are the lyrics. When I finish my meal, I get sad because I won't get to see you until dinner time. Japanese people have been eating rice for many, many years. <laughs> oh my god, what kind of song is that? So Robin has been saying that she wants to have more jobs, appear more on TV, and she's been working really hard. And it really shows she's starting to get more jobs progressively, and I'm really happy to hear the news. I hope all the best for her in her future. Thanks for watching until the end. I really am trying to get my videos out in a more timely manner. So when the news breaks out, I'm gonna cover it the next day. The only problem is that I really hate working and that's something I have to deal with. I'm always like, you know, why can't people just get the information from my head? You know, I could either be a YouTuber or come up with an invention where people could just get information from people's head. Oh my God, things I think about when I don't wanna work. But anyways, for more Japanese news and culture, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.